नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड दिस इज अवर फिफ्टी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन एन इंडक्टर एल कपैसिटर सी एंड अ रजिस्टर आर एंड स्विच एस आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज द कपैसिटर इज इनिशियली फुल्ली चार्ज इफ द स्विच इज क्लोज एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू जीरो then which of the following figures shows the correct current i versus time t plot now of course we are not going to uh, deal with this problem mathematically okay but we are going to deal with uh, qualitatively so what do i mean by that remember if if resistance were absent okay if r were equal to 0 then the moment we uh, turn the switch on okay or the if the moment we uh, close the switch then assuming that the wires also have non zero resistance uh, zero resistance sorry the wires have zero resistance and there is no loss due to electromagnetic radiation then we'll get lc oscillations correct lc oscillations lc oscillations there's one more thing in this lc oscillations in these lc oscillations there are two uh, two things which uh, oscillate periodically the first is charge q and the second one is current i okay charge q on the capacitor and the second one is current i and remember that current is the derivative of charge current is the derivative of charge we'll make use of this fact later in our solution okay now what is the speciality of lc oscillations if we draw the graph of the lc oscillations against time be it charge or current it is going to be a sinusoid okay we know that but here r is not zero here r is not equal to zero what does it mean it means the resistance is actually going to take out some energy every time the capacitor charges discharges and the magnetic fields uh, develop and decay grow and decay in the inductor correct so here r is not equal to 0 so lc oscillations will be damped lc oscillations will be damped okay will be damped which means which means we will still get the sinusoid okay we will still get the sinusoid but the amplitudes will be progressively decreasing okay so it's not uh, this one definitely because here the current is going to increase with time okay no what about the uh, the one to the left of it again this is also not right because initially you see that the amplitudes are increasing we don't want well, that doesn't happen okay so now it's time to decide now it's time to decide whether it is the first graph or the second graph both show same behavior qualitatively as we want it to be okay we want the amplitudes to be decreasing exponentially and that is what both of them show okay if you basically try to draw this okay there this envelope of two exponential curves okay you will find that they both are actually meeting the requirement okay meeting the requirement so which one of them should be should we pick okay now this is where <laughs> whether it is charge or current that is what we want okay okay we know that th they are they have given us that initially the capacitor is fully charged initially the capacitor is fully charged correct it means at t equal to 0 q is maximum at t equal to 0 q is q max so had it been charge on the capacitor against time okay we would have gone with this but it's not charge now it's the derivative of charge it's the current it's the current against time okay and we know the moment we uh, close the switch the current gradually builds up in the circuit we know that the current gradually builds up in the circuit so as a consequence of that we reject the second curve although it almost correctly describes the behavior of the current we don't consider it because of the initial condition fails to meet there okay so it is option e now 
if you have watched our previous video that question also talks about damped oscillations but in a slightly different context it talks about spring mass damper system okay so there there i showed you this graph isn't it this is a statement of the 54th question and there i showed you this graph but remember here why are we starting at the top we're starting at the top because well first of all we have released the mass from its extreme position of course okay and there we are measuring the displacement here it is a scale displacement x upon x naught but the main thing is it is displacement and in this case okay if you if you refer to your textbook there they may make this table okay and they draw comparisons between lcr series circuit and our uh, spring mass damper system okay so there they associate displacement with charge and they associate current with velocity and that's that's my point here we are not plotting uh displacement against time here we are plotting velocity against time okay and when you release the mass from the, the extreme position it is not going to peak uh okay in in speed okay its speed is going to build up gradually and therefore it is the first option and not the second one 